how's everybody doing today? Alright, so I figured I'd save JJ a little bit of video editing. Um, the last giveaway that he put on went really good. I, I was very happy with it and uh, it seemed that the people really enjoyed it. So I, I want to do another one. I want to help JJ with another one. So what I'm going to be doing this time, or what JJ is going to be doing this time, from Jaw to Jaw to STI, YouTube channel, mostly all Call of Duty, whether it's Vanguard or Modern Warfare, whatever. He plays a lot of Warzone, so good place to go visit. Really, go check it out. Anyways, onward. I'm going to be giving away a EVGA Z12 USB gaming keyboard. Very nice keyboard. I use one myself, and I will show you more what it looks like, but some of the options on it are great. It has a key on it which you can see over there that you can press that pretty much it's called the game in key mode it takes the keys offline that would cause you to like accidentally drop your screen down whatnot go into caps or something when you shouldn't very nice very nice keyboard nice rgb to it it's not a full mechanical keyboard but i, I want to tell you it feels like one <laughs> It's heavy. It's sturdy. It, it's it's very responsive, and I really I really enjoyed using it. Like I said, I still do. I also have my Steel Series Huntsman. Can't go wrong with Razor. But the EVGA is very nice stuff. So the E it, number one, it has the geek uh, the geek geek. It has the E game mode key. It has a programmable macro key. And it has a media button key, as well as a number of other things. It's 25% faster response time than your average USB. I mean, it's it's less than three, let me see, uh, three millimeter travel. It's, I think it's less than one millisecond. It, it's, it's fast. Uh, it's spill resistant and um, it is the Z12. They do make a 20, which is really big bucks again. So I might do that next time, but I'm also thinking about on the next one down the road, I might be doing a full Dreamers Streamers giveaway, which will include probably a USB mic, a USB camera, along with a capture card. Still haven't decided on which ones I want to use yet, but that'll be something. Okay, next thing. There's going to be a choice for mice. It depends on what you like. We got the EVGA X15. This is a really heavy duty wired MMO gaming mouse. It has so many programmable buttons on it. If you like this style of a mouse, this is a great mouse. It's very responsive. 8K high speed USB. It has LK optical switches with multi multi purpose MMO panel. The specifications on it, let me pick it up and read it. See, now I got it. 16,000 DPI. Woo, that's pretty heavy duty. The main switch is an LK70M optical sensor. Side panel has 10 buttons. It's programmable buttons are 20. So I guess you can have 20 different programs on those buttons. Uh, feet type, uh, low friction PTFE. Comes with any decent mouse. Weighs 125 grams without cable. And internet connection to download if you want to download the software with it. So, yeah, it, it's it's really nice. And it's too bad it's not wireless, but that's why we have even a bigger... This one's even more money right here. This is the EVGA X20. It has triple sensor. It has a sniper game for FPS. I guess they call it sniper button for FPS games. It has three mode connection. It's Wi-Fi and hardwired. It has a higher end sensor than even this one. It's using the PixArt 3335 optical sensor. Second sensor is a lift off distance detection sensor. Wow, sensor. And the third sensor is a lift off detention sensor. Main switch type, 60 million clicks, lifespan, 10 buttons, 123 grams, LED color with RGB lighting, three zones. Dimension is 122 by 70. It's, it, it, it's, it's a mouse that will fit somebody with a medium to a larger hand. It's really not a mouse that would be good for somebody with a really small hand. And unless you use the claw grip. So on that note, I'm going to bring over these mice and you can take a look at them. Okay, for starters, here we are with the, uh, the EVGA keyboard Z12. Very sturdy, very sturdy keyboard. It has a nice texture on the back, very solid. It has dual stands. Uh, 
I don't even think I've taken the plastic off of this one yet. It has a number of multimedia switches over here on, uh, on this side. That's your game button that you would press and turn off all of your um, keys that would be more or less used in office work. And as you can tell, it's not squishy like most digital. This, this is probably like a hybrid type thing because listen to the, the sound of it. It's not squishy at all. It's very solid. Some of the keys are, are, are lifted higher than other keys, like the num lock, the E1 key, and the rest all drop in sequence. Just an all-around nice little keyboard that I think will be great for a giveaway. So we're going to put that aside. Now we're going to go on to the X20 Game & Mouse. As you can see, I have basically a medium-sized hand and it fits pretty well in it. You have your indicator lights on the side. You have your aim button right here. I guess that's your bullseye button. And then you have your... I guess that would probably be your fourth and fifth switches or whatever on the side there. You could adjust your... your um, FPS by pressing either one of these buttons. You can tell it has a nice sound to it. All rubber coated, rubber on the side, textured, nice looking sensor on the bottom, decent sliders. You can also turn it on um, to Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So it's got a couple different options with it. And you can use this as well if you don't want to use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. You can plug it in and use it. The next one we have here is the X15. This is a little bit more of a, uh, a, a chunky type. Okay, to start out with, doesn't have a removable cable. Both mice are USB 2.0. You have your indicator lights over here. You have a number of different keys that can be assigned on this side right here. On the top, you have the same as the other one. You can use your mouse button in, scroll back, and forth and actually I think one of these the same as on that one you press it and it frees the scroll wheel probably got to be in the game but I do remember it doing that so it free spins you have your 11 and 12 button on the side here and of course your right button again this was this, wow this has a lot of lasers on the back of there you can see them all well what can what can I say it, it seems okay so you want to enable and disable whether or not it's in some type of game mode or regular office type mode so has a nice action to it a little bit big for my hand I mean it would work I, oh boy, that's a lot of buttons to get used to. I go crazy trying to remember all them things. Anyways, that's going to pretty much wrap it up.